Previously on Drake Paragon. The next possibility for us to get water will be in Nook, Greenland. Get ready to fend off the stern. This looks awesome. These guys are sailing straight to Greenland. I'm not sure when the fuel spilled in there. I think to sail around the world, you just really gotta love this stuff. Prince Christian Sound is unnavigatable right now because of ice. <laughs> Take care, guys. Thank you. So that was Ted. It was actually Don was the Don, Ted, and Connie. So we just met them this morning and uh, just helped them with their little dock lines. And Ted is actually a follower. Uh, so hello, Ted. And um, so he he recognised the boat. I mentioned Drake's name, and uh, he went, "Oh wow, like the the YouTube channel." And so that's the second person that's really recognised us now. Yeah, he's like, oh, that guy's wild. Yeah, that's great. So I'm glad I actually said hello this morning because I may have thought about not saying anything and just drinking my tea. But that's not very social. You can't do that on yachts. It's weird. There's this whole community. And then you see somebody in their boat, you go, ooh, hello. And they go, oh, hey, where are you from? So it's really good. Wow, I wish I had met him. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I like that he was, he, they were like taking lines off, they were going. Yeah. Because he goes, he said to his sister when she arrived, he was just waiting for her. Yeah, we've got to go, we got to get the tide. Like, we got, I'm like, cool. I said, if you guys want a photo or if you want to hand it to your lines, just let me know. Yeah. And he goes, oh, okay. And I came out and I thought they was getting a photo. But he goes, yeah, can you just hold our bow line? And I'm like, cool. And then it, like, I took the bow line and the thing went, Whoa! Oh my God, really? <laughs> really strong. The wind, really From the strong. wind? The wind, yeah. Mm. Windy day today, it seems. Yeah. Well, that's so wild that they knew us. That's that's two people. No, they didn't really know us. They knew you. <laughs> you guys, wild. Drake, you too. You're so wild. You're, you're a celebrity. You're so You're like wild. the James Dean of the sailing world. Oh you're man, a rebel man. Making <laughs> <laughs> videos. <laughs> so what? What Don't exactly? Know, have to live with him. So what exactly oh, happened? Someone you... downstairs. He's up there. He can't go back down with his head. <laughs> So what exactly happened? You came up here to have a cup of coffee and a read on your I Kindle? I came up to have a cup of good tea Yeah. and an Oreo. And there was a guy uh, in the Canadian boat beside us here. And I was really interested because it was a nice little boat. Yeah. And Do you know what kind it was? Uh, I was going to ask him, but then he had another guy on board. Yeah. And he came out and started saying, Oh, your boat. Oh, it's the West Sail, isn't it? And I'm like, yeah, it's a West Sail 42. And he goes, yeah, there's one of them up on the south uh, shore of Ontario or wow. south shore somewhere. Let's go for like 60 grand. But the owners say they're working on it. So you know what that means? And I'm like, oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah. But I'm like, oh, it must be in bits. It must be big. When a battery dies, it's like a camera getting drunk because it has to go. God, recovering data. What's happened? <laughs> Hmm. What did I do? Oh, before I blacked out. <laughs> uh, yeah. but, uh, so you went to go help them with their lines? So even before that, so I came up to the cockpit, I just hopped out here when the guy came over. I was like, what? And I'm like, how are you? <laughs> and so he was like, oh good. I'm like, where'd you come from? And he goes, oh, uh, I came from here. And I'm like, oh, great, great, great. Uh, I can't remember where I can't remember where he came from. I'm only waking up. I shouldn't have engaged in a conversation this early. <laughs> so he, uh, yeah, he was like, oh, where'd you come from? And I was like, oh, when well, we came, we started out, I started off with the boat here in Boston. They came from North Carolina, but we're heading north. We're heading to Greenland. And then the end plan is go to Ireland, winter in Ireland. And he goes, really nice. Wow. He goes, is that an Irish accent? And I'm like, yeah, and he's just like, oh, you must really fit in around here. And I'm like, yeah, it's really crazy. He goes, yeah, a really strong Irish accent here. And I'm like, yeah. And Ted then goes, yeah, yeah, it's a West Sail, isn't it? And I'm like thinking, wow, well, like people know their boats here. I don't know the, the brands or names of boats. Yeah. I know some, but not many. It's a blue boat. 
Yeah, but very much like, oh, it's it's got a rudder, it's cool. I think, no, but I mean, uh, he was like, oh, West Sail. And I'm like, yeah, it's a 42 West Sail. And he goes, yeah, great boat, great boat. And I said, yeah, I'm just here, I'm just crewing, and um, oh, the captain, and uh, it's down below, uh, Drake, and he goes, Drake, like, like YouTube Drake? <laughs> and I was like, we're famous! <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. We're filming everything heading up to Greenland and across the island. So the guy didn't know what he was talking about, it, but I go, Here you're cool, I got your card. So I went and got, I got a Monique's card and I gave one to Ted. Yeah. And I was just thinking, I was just wondering, oh, should I get Jake to sign it? You know, be like, oh, here's another card. Jake, we can't sign this. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> wow, that's so exciting. We have actually come to a foreign country. Yeah. And they know the YouTube channel. Yeah. That's wild. One of your We're in St. John's, Newfoundland, and the boat that pulled up right next to us was like Drake as in as in Drake Paragon YouTube channel, Drake. Yeah. You're so right. His head is not meant to be able to fit. You'll have to go on a hike now. That's wild. Like That's really wild. <laughs> You're famous. You're famous. But, like, but I, yeah, somebody like that might, might be. I did get an email from a... Hey. What's the matter? Yeah, don't Every time you, every time you have that camera like that, I always think of you know, is it Hamlet where he's talking to the skull? It's just like, and this is the camera I have in one's hand. I think about sailing around the world. <laughs> <laughs> do it again! Do it again! I have the camera like this. Well, one does have to have one's type of acting face on when one is sailing around the world. <laughs> Anyway, cool. Can I tap you off, honey? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's the worst timing ever, and I'm like, I've got, I'm like anyway. it's okay, Shag. I'm fine. <laughs> Home fries? <laughs> okay, do you have some down there? Oh, you know what? a wonderful after drinking breakfast. We have to make a plan for this day. Because you know what? Yeah. I could do like a super complicated breakfast, which the ladies do. Beans? We have beans, we have bacon. Do we have bacon? Yes, we have bacon. We have beans, we have bacon, we have eggs, we have bread, we don't have mushrooms, we have tomatoes. See, I was being sarcastic. Uh, I was Were you like, thinking cereal? I, could do like, no, I was thinking like Campers Pizza. Because <laughs> 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 it's a little bit like, it's, it's not quite grilled. Uh, but it's good for if you had a couple of drinks. Or do you, you want your... No. I would love whatever. I think we should use up any perishable things that are going to go soon. And I think we need to start getting at the eggs. Yeah, I'll make some breakfast. I'll have this cup of coffee and uh, and then I'll make some Japanese eggs. No potato-y thing? Actually, no, I don't want a frittata though. Okay, we should go through this potato. Some frittatas are awesome! What's the matter with you? I don't like... <laughs> <laughs> You just don't like my frittatas? How can you screw up a frittata? Yeah. It's like, it's a basic recipe of potatoes, onions, pepper, salt, and eggs. Mm-hmm. Looks like a crap weather day today, man. I believe that's what the weatherman said. Yeah, crap weather, weather day. All right, all right, let's go. We're gonna close. I'm ready, let's walk. Hey, cutie. I found a bunny. <laughs> How you doing? I'm tired. Yeah. Late night? I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember the night or you don't remember if it was late? I remember bits and pieces. You didn't drink that much. I think it was, what do you mean we didn't drink that much? We had. Two beers. Six. No, you didn't have two beers. Did you? I think so. Look at all those bumps on that tree. What do you think that's all about? Oh. 
What a beautiful night. What? What a beautiful night. The <laughs> sky is just so blue. It was funny last night when we got into bed. Yeah. And I like turned all the lights out. And I closed my eyes and I like shuffled down into my pillow and it was really dark, but then I like lifted my head up for some reason. And our cabin was so bright. Because like there was a boat there with all its lights on and there was a boat there with all its lights on. And huh. it's just, it's funny. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna make pineapple orange ginger turkey tonight. Dude. I'm starving. What? Oy. Ahoy there, social butterfly! <laughs> oh, he sees got the cookies out and everything. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You found it okay, did you? Uh, it was interesting. It leaves a little to be desired. Super. How was your day? It was a good day. What'd you do? I went down to the visitor center and I was there for so long. And the girl who was working there was like, you're from Ireland? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you. And so she was like, <laughs> so she said, uh, yeah, I was chatting with her for about an hour and I may be going on a personal tour. Ooh, <laughs> really? <laughs> she was like, well, I mean, I'm here tomorrow. Like, I mean, if I have time, like, I mean, I'd love to show you around. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's great. Ladies, man. I did that. I came back here and I was playing with the tripod. Yep. And then this Canadian, they were like speaking French and I just went into the cockpit and was yeah. working away. Yeah. And I went, oh, come on, so on. I spoke a little French to them. Yeah. And they were, they were like, oh, cool. And I gave them cards and they were, oh, we told them about everything. And they were like, that's amazing. Like, wow. We're here. This is our first two hours here. This is so cool. And I said, well, listen, we're here for a few days. If you feel like going out for a drink or you like meeting up or yeah. just call down because we're going to be here. And if we're not here, then we might see you around. But Wait, these aren't the folks from the other no, sailboat. No, they're just locals. Just, no, they're, they're not. They're on their honeymoon. Oh, wow. So, oh, we are totally the love boat. You're the love boat. You should tell them to come over. We'll get pictures of them on the bowsprit doing the I Titanic I told them about thing. the other couple. And they were like, that's so cool. Did you get on Facebook at all today? I did. Did you see that, um, do you know Cecilia? She's the what, the old yeah. owner of Paragon, like not the previous one, but the one before that. She and her husband actually got married on Paragon. I didn't realize that. So underneath the photos yeah. of, of that couple, she actually put her wedding photo. And she's like, you don't know how like beautiful <coughs> this On the bowsprit of Paragon. On what? the bowsprit yeah. of Paragon. That's so cool. Yeah. I, I didn't, I wasn't on Facebook for that long. I went into the, the second cup and got like some stuff. I found this really good blog and website about ice. Yeah. And the guy next door yeah. has been through ice. He has. He's, he's loads of experience with ice. Yeah. He said they're he had. They're really cool. Well, they the sailed here from Norway. Norway. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he had another boat and he's gone through ice. I tried to ask him about it, but I was like, listen, Drake's going to ask you loads of questions. And hmm. I was like, we want, We. I said, we're going to talk about ice some more. Cause the people from the Chanel. Yeah. Right next door. Yeah. Yeah. So he's experienced with ice and he's. I'm faint the knowledge with it for the ice. Yeah, I bet they're real, real sailors. So I showed him the weather facts chart of yeah. the iceberg concentrations, and mm -hmm. he was like, oh, I haven't seen that. Okay. So I was wondering if, uh, but, uh, uh, what has happened? So I came back here and not, I was talking to that couple. Go. Not to interrupt, but would either of you like a glass of wine? No. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Can I have one of those sodas? Great. So I was talking to that couple for a while and they were really cool like because I was speaking French and they were like Where are you from? And I'm like, oh, you're not day. And they're like, you're Irish? And I'm like, they were like, and I was like, oh, you speak English? And they were like, yeah, 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 yeah. You're Irish? And I'm like, yeah. And they were like, but you, you were speaking French? You speak French? And I'm like, yeah. Just, you know, it was just showing off. So. <laughs> and I had, was talking to them for about half an hour, but they had, I thought it was a friend of theirs was with them, oh. this girl. And uh, she was sitting down and chatting with them and speaking French too. Yeah. And turns out she wasn't. Like, she'd just, I think, either met them there in the space of two hours. Yeah. She came down and... Uh, another you girl? have another date? <laughs> she just moved to town. She was just like, oh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. So I showed her the boat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it was like, uh -huh. I was like, okay, this is really weird. Like, it turned out she'd been studying medicine. And wow. she was Yeah, she was here for, she'd just moved here for two years. And wow. we were chatting for about 20 minutes, like... 
wow, this dock is really the, this spot. Is the place to be. I'm like, I'm just gonna sit on the back and like be like, play with my camera the whole time. I mean, pr- <laughs> yeah, it's so I good. Mean, pretty much Ryan, Ryan, over from Ireland, thought he'd be breaking new horizons. Instead, all he did was break all. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I took the ice chart that we got over weather facts today yeah. with the concentration of icebergs and brought it out into the cockpit to the chart plotter and then I set waypoints from this harbor and going around the perimeter of the ice field. Yeah. Once we're clear of that, I set waypoints going all the way up to the harbor in Nook. Mm-hmm. And it came up to 1,150 something nautical miles. Not 1,500. That's yeah, not 1,500. That's very way cool. That's better. what that's like four or five days cut off the trip. Yeah. I actually have this great cookbook that has a wonderful. Here we have some olive oil. Oh, here we've got some fresh chopped ginger. Right on top of that, I'm going to throw in all these red pepper strips that I cut up from one and a half red bell peppers. Mix that all up until the red pepper strips are just sort of tender, but still a little bit crunchy. And a little bit more oil. <laughs> Well, you know, it's To which I am now going to stir fry. This is turkey that's been marinating in half soy sauce and half sherry for about 10 minutes. Just practice it with the camera. Put the... Now I'm gonna add the red bell pepper strips to that. Of all of that, I am going to add this concoction, which is made up of orange juice concentrate, cornstarch, sugar, soy sauce, and water. And finally, I've just added a can of pineapple chunks and the juice. Let that all heat up and then put them over white rice and bowls. I mean, we're going to be in Greenland for a while, and it's really going to be the three of us for a while. So when you go cram it's like, ah, squeeze in as much as everybody else as we can. It's not that I don't want to hang out with you guys, but I'm just, I just know that we're like, when we're going to be up there on our own for all the length of time, it's going to be like, man, I really feel like going out to a bar and just having a drink, or I feel like just going out to the cinema, or yeah. like a, because I mean, this is the end of civilization for a while. For a while. No offense to Greenland or anything, but. Well, you never know. I bet there'll be tons of bars in Nook. Yeah. Yeah, but it's going to be even more expensive there. Yeah, you think? Alcohol, and it, they said it's the same prices, kind of similar prices to like Norway and like Sweden and stuff. So basically, eighteen dollars for a cocktail. Yeah. So does nobody in Greenland drink then? If it's so I expensive? think the fishermen do, but they must drink not very nice stuff, or oh. they drink very strong stuff. Yeah. Or You're like I can drink not very nice stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Like I really don't know. Well, I think. I think. Like going out and a drink, I don't. I think Nook will be very expensive for that. Mm. This is like it's, might it's, not be an option after yeah, that. Yeah, like it's. Because I've heard of Iceland. Iceland is crazy money as well. Yeah, I don't think we'll be drinking in Iceland. Except no. for what we bring. Exactly. Speaking of. Mm-hmm. Should probably do some shopping. For alcohol. For alcohol. Everything. For some vegetables. It's amazing that those gigantic ships can go sideways.
I just had a great conversation with the folks on the boat next door. Norwegian boat, they're pushing off now, and they are headed to Julianhab in Greenland. They got email from the Danish Ice Meteorological Service that told them that all of Prince Christian Sound is unnavigatable right now because of ice. Their original plan was to sail direct from here to the western entrance of Prince Christian Sound, go through it, come up the east end, and go to Iceland from there. But they got this email today saying that there's too much ice in Prince Christian Sound. They wouldn't be able to get through it. So instead, they just told me they're going to go straight to Julianhab, which is the first city on the western coast. And then they're going to check back in with the weather. And here they go. Have a great voyage! <laughs> See you in Greenland! <laughs> Wow. That's a 49 foot Jeannot with four aboard out of Norway. They sailed out of Norway less than a year ago and went down to the Caribbean and then came up the US East Coast. Now they're going to Greenland and then to Iceland and then back to Norway, completing the circumnavigation of the Atlantic. A really nice young couple and their crew just flew in a few days ago. There's a storm brewing up. They say they hope to make it to Julian Cab before then. Before that storm hits. It's like a one day storm on the forecast. It doesn't look that bad because it's not that long. There's the next boat that's probably going to be leaving. They are going straight for Iceland. They're going to skip Greenland. It's a U.S. flag boat. I think they've got six aboard. We, on the other hand, are going to wait for this storm to blow through on Thursday. And probably push off right after, or right after we know that we will be clear of it. I still have laundry to do, conditioning to do. Sorry for all the noise. I think that's coming from a fuel truck that's fueling this big ship. It's amazing how frequently they go in and out of here. Every day, these ships are coming in and pushing off to support the oil rigs. All right, laundry day for me. I'm going to get the rest of the laundry. Uh, that's my big thing today, it's laundry. <laughs> Here we go, getting it together. It's laundry day. <laughs> When's the last time we did laundry? Gloucester. Gloucester? Gloucester. Wow. So how long ago was that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. It's a sail bag. <laughs> yeah. And it smells like a... A sail bag? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, really. 